little bit about um, being a dreamer in the dream? Well, yeah, there's, in the field of psychology now, we've had for some time this idea of lucid dreaming, and and a lucid dreamer is, is a dreamer that's aware that there's a dream going on. It's very empowering. You know, you could have monsters and fire-breathing dragons and everything, but if you are aware that you're dreaming, it's kind of fun. You're like, ha, ha, look at, that, look at those flames. <laughs> <laughs> if you're identified with the figure, it's like scorched. <laughs> you know, you're just heated up there and burned to a crisp. So there's a big difference between being the dreamer of the dream and a dream figure. And you might say that, that actually that's what all the mind training of A Course in Miracles is, just to bring you into that state of mind. There's even one place in the text where Jesus says, awareness of dreaming is the function of God's teachers. Awareness of dreaming is the function of God's teachers. All of this mind training, all of this no people pleasing, no private thoughts, and expression <coughs> lessons, and forgiveness lessons, and everything, is just to come to one experience, that you are the dreamer of the world of dreams. Because from the position of the dreamer, you can awaken from the dream. While you think you're a figure in the dream, you, you've lost awareness of the dreaming. It's kind of like going to watch a movie. If you, if you pay the 10, 12 bucks and you go in there, and you get all caught up in the movie, you're going to feel all the emotions that come from the interpretations of believing that you're right there in the movie. Why do you s scream to Julia Roberts, Don't go in there! <laughs> you know? The dreamer of the dream doesn't scream, Julia, don't go in! You know? Because you're, you're aware that it's just a movie. You're just watching a movie. And that's why when you train your mind more and more and more, it's, it's just the sense of watching. It's like you're just observing, you're just watching. It's very, very, very different from, from that. Now, actually, uh, Frances had a very powerful experience with her mother, and she actually, that was what you were explaining, that was the metaphor you used with her, because it was so powerful, because her mother is like, Francis was an atheist. She doesn't really have any metaphysical training. She doesn't, you know, understand a lot about the Course. But when we went over to Beijing, she got on the website, and my all of these deep teachings have been translated into Mandarin. So she just thought she'd just check up on what this guy that her daughter is traveling with is trying to really teach. So she went in and she read the teachings in Mandarin, and then she came and she said, he's teaching that there is no world. Uh, imagine that, you know, who, who, is your, who is your daughter hanging around with, and what is he actually teaching? And then you can take it from there, because she asked him that, Francis, like, what is this stuff? And if I'm not your mother, and you're not my daughter, then what is our relationship to each other? That's the kind of question that she got. Um, yeah, and I, when she asked that, I consciously I was just thinking, I can, how can I answer her when she doesn't believe, she's not into God, she's not into any spiritual teachings, metaphysic, metaphysical teachings. I can't explain in a way that she could understand. But I was just praying to be truly helpful, and what came out of me was that our relationship is the relationship between a dreamer of the dream and a dreamer character. And can you, so I've, I just elaborated for about an hour and a half actually, talking about can you imagine while you have a night um, sleep and you have a dream and you dream up all these characters and all the dramas and when you forget that you're dreaming, you actually experience all these emotions and fears and pleasures and everything. And she, she was following along and she really, really got it. And she loved the metaphor of being, you know, used the night dream. And she could really relate how if this is a dream, this is an illusion, 
and there is nothing there, and all these emotions is really like all that is necessary is to wake up from the dream, and there is no other solutions. So at the end of the whole talk, she actually said that, so who am I is the only question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's after an hour and a half of talk. I said, yeah, <laughs> that is the only question. So it was very profound for her because after that, she actually, within two weeks, I think, after we left China, she actually had two physical experiences. And and that got, got her attention because that was beyond everything that she could un understand in this world. And that explained a lot. So. That's, that's significant. Mm -hmm. Control.